Hello everybody, Lao Natural Soaps is here and uh, today I want to talk about a subject that not every sopper is uh, talking about, is uh, troubles in uh, soap making and uh, one of the major is the lye heavy soap. I have one batch of uh, lye heavy soap. At first I was very depressed and I was uh, very disappointed that it happened to me and uh, then uh, I realized that it's a uh, major uh, opportunity to learn more about soap making okay I will show you those are the loofah soaps at the beginnings they were clean and they, uh, the first days just uh, light signs of uh, soda ash so I didn't suspect something is uh, wrong but uh, then, uh, some days after, the soda ash began to develop more and more and more till it uh, became that uh, thick layer of uh, ash. So uh, I let them cure a little bit and I tried to uh, remove the ash, but I couldn't, even if I washed them in uh, water. So I decided to uh, take a pH test and the pH test was absolutely okay. But something inside of me, in my intuition, I felt that after, after I've done so many batches of soaps, that uh, this is not a regular soda ash, that something is wrong with this soap. So I decided to sacrifice my hands before the body of my clients and that is the way that it should be and uh, after I wash my hand with uh, one of the soaps uh, immediately immediately my hand uh, get got uh, very very dry extremely dry it was burning even uh, three days after it was a uh, it was still burning so this way I knew that uh, no doubt that this batch is a lie heavy soap. I cut the soap and inside the soap it looks very very good. You know what I will show you? I don't mind to ruin it. It anyway is not cannot be used. You see? Inside the soap, not even a hint of uh, white spots. So one can think that it's uh, only soda ash. The smell is is fantastic. The look is fantastic. It, it the touch is fantastic. This case is a minor case of soda ash. And that's why it's so interesting because some batches you can tell beyond doubt that uh, this case is a soda ash soap, uh, is a lye heavy soap, but uh, in this case it was not so clear. But the thing that my hands, after washing my hands with this, was so burning, this was beyond, beyond doubt something that I cannot sell. I cannot do anything, so the uh, problem is that uh, it's a loofah soap and I cannot even uh, rebatch it because the loofah inside. The only thing that I found that I can do with it is suck it, suck it in water and uh, this, this, is not, this is not burning, this, this here. I can wash my hands with it even and um, I, I'm using it for a... Uh, for a delicate la laundry that I'm uh, doing by hand and for uh, washing my hands because it, because it's not a it's it's not a very light heavy soap it's okay like this and the pH test is, is also okay if you have any other ideas what what can I do with this uh, batch not to throw it to the garbage I will be glad if you leave a comment below we should learn to tell the difference between soda ash and lye heavy soap. 
See this soap? You see the ash? This is soda ash. It's a very delicate on the top ash. Everything is okay with this soap. You can see, you can feel it's okay. Also this one, the Dead Sea Mad Soap. Always tend to have ash. By the way, I, some soaps, I, I don't even bother to clean them because it looks like mountain with snow. It's, it's very nice. Here, this one also. The Forest Man Soap. See? It's a very delicate ash. Everything inside the soap is okay. No white spots. Only on the top. And if I try to remove it, I can. See the difference? See? This is a thick layer of ash. Now, the thing I want to tell you, I have a message to tell you. You sopper, all, soppers all over the world. If you suspect that something wrong with your, with your soap, with your batch of soap that you made, go with your feelings, check it, wash yourself with it first. Don't sell it till you be 100% sure that everything is okay. Because pH taste is not always an indication. If you want to ruin your business, sell to clients like heavy soaps. This will ruin your business completely, for sure. So what I'm saying is we should go with our intuition we should upload videos of uh, soaps that are failures, that we can learn from each other. But for me it was a great experience, I can say. I lost one batch, but I gained a lot of experience. And now I'm... Uh, i always been cautious with my soaps. Before I sell, before I sell my soaps, I always, I always check the pH, I always wash my body with with a piece of my soap for every batch it's a good habit uh, for a soap maker to to check on on your body every every batch of soap of, of course when we are making many soaps it's uh, impossible to wash ourselves with a uh, full bar so we can check we can check little piece on our body and check the pH it's a good habit and even if we have a successful uh, times so that we sell many 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 soaps we always should be cautious and always check now why it happened I can uh, assume that something went wrong when I weighed the oils a lie heavy soap is uh, a case that there is too much lye that the oils cannot take. They cannot saponify. If the lye is uh, greater than the oils need, then uh, it could happen. And also, and this, and this, what I suspect is happened to me. Every oil has its sap value, saponification value, and its difference between oil to oil. Olive oil need certain amount of light to make it to soap, and it's different from coconut oil, from example, example, and from castor oil. What I suspect is happened to me that when I wet the olive oil and the coconut oil. There was some kind of a little mess and uh, I wet them uh, together in one pot and uh, since then I, the, the total weight was okay, don't get me wrong, that's why it's not a heavy case of, uh, of uh, light heavy soap. But uh, the ratio between the olive oil and the coconut oil at the beginning when I start, when I start uh, to measure the oils this this I think went wrong and since then I'm taking the weight of every oil separately it's better like this and then I gather them together I think in this way you can be 
100% sure that everything is okay. And also uh, the crucial part of the soap making is the weight of the water and the weight of the lye. I am always uh, taking the weight of the lye and the water twice. This is my uh, message to you everybody. And uh, again thank you for all my uh, new subscribers. I wish you happy shopping without uh, any problems. And if you have problems, try to learn from them because it's a great opportunity to learn. For me it was. If you like all natural soap making, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Till the next time, bye Hila.